Hi, my name is Kumari Sky, and this is a yin yoga pose tutorial all about the butterfly. So in yin yoga, the butterfly is a great way to stretch the back of tight hamstrings. Um, we want to find the edge more in the outer parts of the legs, not in the inside like a traditional butterfly. We're looking to feel sensation in the outermost hamstrings and the sides of the legs. This pose is really nurturing to the kidneys and for men, the prostate glands. In women, it can help regulate the periods and can be a really nice prep for child birth. Um, but this pose can aggravate sciatica. So in those cases, and I think for most people, it's really beneficial to sit up on a folded blanket. So I'm going to sit up on this blanket. And then I'm sliding off. See how my pelvis tilts forward? So in cases where people have a tight back or they have sciatica, having the hips higher than the knees is going to be really helpful because the gravity will take you forward kind of automatically. If a person has lower back issues, and they know that they should not um, do flexion of the spine. You can also do this laying down, or you can make sure that the spine stays long and straight. But the lying down version is just that. It's just lying down. Of course, it isn't as intense and they might feel it more in the inner legs when doing that but in order to keep you safe <laughs> you'll want to modify um, especially with the neck you want to keep the head and neck in alignment especially if you have had whiplash or any other injuries with the neck otherwise you can just allow to hang forward. So I'm just gonna give you the side view. So I'm coming up without any props besides the blanket. It's just a releasing forward until you feel the sensation in the outer edges of your legs, but maybe in the lower back, maybe a little bit in the shoulders. Some ways of using props would be a block coming down, placing your elbows, holding your chin in your hands. Bolster can be really nice the long way. So if there isn't a lot of range of motion, bolster can also come down. So if you have any issue with the knees, a nice thing to do is to just place a bolster or a rolled up blanket under the legs and then come forward. If you don't have a bolster on hand but you have two blocks, that always can work too. Supporting the legs with the blocks. This pose is also a really nice place to add in any wrist or finger hand stretches. So you could just hold here for a couple minutes. And the meridians we're affecting in this pose, so the outside of the legs, the gallbladder meridian and then the urinary bladder along the spine are stimulated with this pose. So some great counter poses for the yin butterfly after coming out, leaning back into the palms, releasing the hips and then just stepping the feet mat width apart 
doing some windshield wipers. Another favorite is these little hammocks, lifting the hips. Also, a gentle spinal twist can feel really good. Counter poses for the yin butterfly. The hold time for this one is three to five minutes. And it's a really great pose to do at the beginning of the practice as an opening pose, a way to just start to feel into and get into the body. That's the yin butterfly pose. 